Get ready because CompTIA is about to shake things up with their brand new a certification in spring 2025. Whether you're already studying for the current version or just starting your IT journey, this could be the most important update you'll hear this year. Today we're diving deep into everything you need to know about the new CompTIA a certification changes. And I mean everything from what's changing to whether you should wait for the new version or stick with the current one. The best part? By the end of this video, you'll have a crystal clear picture of exactly what to do next. But first, let's talk about why this matters. The A-plus certification isn't just another piece of paper. It's often the first stepping stone into an IT career. It's what helped most of the tech pros land their first help desk role, and it's still opening doors for thousands of tech professionals every year. Now here's what's actually changing. CompTIA is launching two new exams, the 220, 1201 and 220, 1202. Think of these as the next evolution of the current 1101 and 1102 exams. But don't panic if you're currently studying. You'll still have time to complete the current version, typically about six months after the new ones launch. The most interesting changes? They're finally catching up with the real world. Windows 11 is now front and center. There's a much bigger focus on security and cloud computing, and get this, they're even including AI concepts. It's like CompTIA looked at the modern help desk role and said, yeah, things have changed a bit since 2022. Let's break down the numbers because this is where it gets really interesting. In the core one exam, networking is getting a major boost, jumping from 20% to 23% of the exam. Why? Because let's face it, in today's world of remote work and cloud services, Networking knowledge isn't just nice to have, it's essential. But here's where it gets even better. Security is getting a massive upgrade in Core 2, increasing from 25% to 28%. They're introducing zero trust models, talking about QR code phishing, and even covering supply chain attacks. These aren't just buzzwords. These are real threats that IT professionals deal with every day. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Should I stop studying for the current version? Here's the straight answer, absolutely not. If you're already on the path to taking the 1101 and 1102, keep going. The certification is valid for three years from when you earn it and employers don't care which version you have, they care that you have it. But what if you're just starting out? Well, this is where it gets interesting. Let me share a strategy that could work for you. If you're starting from scratch and don't need the certification immediately, you might want to wait for the new version. Why? because it's going to cover more modern technologies and scenarios you'll actually encounter in today's IT environment. Speaking of modern tech, let's talk about what they've added to the hardware section. USB-C is now king, finally catching up with what we've been seeing in the field for years. They've reduced focus on legacy ports like VGA, and they're putting more emphasis on modern storage technologies. It's like they're finally acknowledging that nobody's installing IDE drives anymore. Here's something that really caught my attention. They're adding AI literacy requirements to the operational procedures section. This isn't about becoming an AI engineer. It's about understanding how AI tools are changing IT support. Think about it. How many help desk tickets today involve troubleshooting AI-powered tools or automation systems? Let's talk real-world impact because that's what really matters. The changes in these exams reflect what's actually happening in IT departments right now. Remote work isn't just a trend anymore. It's the new normal. That's why they've beefed up the troubleshooting scenarios for cloud services and remote diagnostics. If you're working help desk today, you're probably already dealing with these situations daily. And here's something I see in the comments all the time. I have my A+, but I can't get interviews. Let's address this head on. The certification is your foot in the door, but it's not the whole story. That's why at Tech Vault Academy, we focus on the complete package. Sure, you need to know your technical stuff, but you also need practical experience, communication skills, and real world problem solving abilities. Speaking of practical experience, let me share a quick tip. While you're studying, set up a home lab. It doesn't have to be fancy. A couple of old computers, some virtual machines, and you're in business. Practice these concepts as you learn them. Trust me, being able to say, yeah, I've actually done that in an interview is worth its weight in gold. 
Now let's talk study strategy. If you're planning to take the current version, you've got until around late 2025. Remember, CompTIA typically gives us a six-month overlap period. But here's the key. Focus on the core concepts. Things like troubleshooting methodology, networking fundamentals, and security principles. These don't change much between versions. But if you're waiting for the new version, don't just sit around. Start building your foundation now. At TechVault Academy, we're already updating our materials to reflect these changes. Our practice exams, domain-specific questions, and study guides are being enhanced to cover both versions. Plus, we're adding new labs specifically focused on the emerging technologies covered in the 1201 and 1202 exams. Here's what makes our approach different. We don't just help you memorize answers. We're all about understanding the why behind each concept. Our practice questions come with detailed explanations, and our subdomain focus helps you master specific areas where you might be struggling. Let me give you a real example. Say you're studying the new security domain. We don't just tell you what zero trust is. We show you how it works in practice. Our labs let you experience firsthand how these security models protect networks. So when you face these scenarios in the real world, you'll know exactly what to do. Ready to take the next step? Head over to techvaultacademy.com where you'll find full practice exams for both current and upcoming versions, domain-specific practice questions to target your weak spots, progress tracking to keep you on target, and our free course, one summary notes to get you started. Remember, whether you choose the current version or wait for the new one, the most important thing is to start. The IT field isn't getting any less complex, and certifications like the A+, are your proof that you are ready to tackle these challenges. Drop a comment below with your situation. Are you studying for the current version? Waiting for the new one? Let me know, and I'll help point you in the right direction. We'll be covering each of these new domains in detail as more information becomes available. And hey, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need it. The IT community grows stronger when we help each other out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep growing, and remember, every IT expert started exactly where you are right now.